something new. Uh, maybe you make, should give me a tutorial through Khan Academy, and it's going to be a coding tutorial on JavaScript. So they use Processing JS, and you can find lessons about it in this section if you click on Courses and then Computer Programming. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on this Projects bar. And then if you don't have anything there, you'll have to go here. And when it loads, you'll scroll down and then click on New JavaScript Program. But if you have a um, project already there, you can click on it like this. And then press new program and you can just delete the tab that you had so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give it a title and this tutorial I'm going to be um, showing how to make a clicker game so we'll just call it clicker tutorial Save. and now the page will reload and then you'll have the title so the first thing you're going to want to do is type in var, which is variable, and then whatever you're going to have, like if you have money or banana or anything, I'm just going to go with money right now, and then you'll put equals zero, and then after that you can design your dollar. So we're going to in the Khan Academy, you can just put draw and then equals, and then it will auto it will automatically put the rest of it. So put in R E C T and then a parentheses, and then these are the things that it has to have. You don't there it doesn't have to be this. It's just for extra um, looks if you need to put it there. So let's just put. 200, comma 200, comma 10, comma 10. That's what I always have to put in in the beginning of a shape so that I can go from there. So I'm going to take these coordinates and then change them like this. So you do that until you have maybe like the size you want. Maybe that. And if you get annoyed with this, you can type in background, and then a, that, and then that will pop up. So you just need to put a parentheses, and then it will show. So now we can just adjust that right there. And then you can also do the same thing with fill, and then you have that filled in. So let's take it maybe like that color. And let's see. Next, we might want to put in a no stroke so these lines won't be there and it'll look a little bit nicer. So, no stroke. And then just do that and then that's done. So, I'm going to copy and paste this rectangle and then put it right there. And I'm going to make a smaller one. So, I'm going to fill it with a different green color, maybe like that, or light green. So I'm going to take it and make it a little bit smaller, and then I'll move it a little bit, like that, and then like that. So now we have the outside of the dollar. And then next, we can put make a circle and we'll put ellipse. So spell that. And then I'm going to do the same thing as last time with the coordinates. And then I'm going to fill it the same color as the edge. So if you type it in here, it is 85. 255 and then 0. And then it's the same as that. 
and then you can move it right there. And if you can't see it that well, you can change the color. So, you probably want this. So then we'll make this the same, so 69, and then we'll put this right in the middle of the thing. So now we have that, and then last but not least, we will put text, and then a quotation mark, and then let's just say like three dollar signs, and then another quotation mark, a comma, and then we'll put it like 200, comma 200. And then those coordinates are the exact middle of the canvas, so it will take from the top left corner. So it's, it won't do it from the very middle of the object. So that's the only thing that you would need to move if you wanted to do that. So you can't get anything exactly in the middle unless it's one pixel by one pixel. So I'm going to fill this as black. And then you can move it in there. And if you don't like how small that is, you can put text size. And then let's just say like 20 and see if that's how big that is. And then you can move it again. So this is the code for the dollar. I'll put a comment by putting two forward slashes and then dollar. So Try to make your own dollar as well, and then once you finish that, we can continue. Alright, so after you've done that, we will make the dollar so it can be clickable. So, we'll come down there, and then put in mouse, press, make sure the P is capitalized, and then we'll put equals function, and then unlike the draw function, it won't automatically be done with the equal sign because it's not as much used as the draw function. I don't know why Khan Academy decided to do that, but that's how they do things. So put the two parentheses here, and then two brackets, and then a semicolon. And at the end of the line, all, they all, there is always a semicolon, and unless it is an if statement, which we are going to come to in just a second. So let's put a couple spaces right there. So we'll go if mouse x. So there's like a combination of numbers to get the button made. So we'll take our first rectangle, let's just like copy it and then paste it right into there so we know where it is. And we'll comment it out. So if mouse x is you start out with a greater than or equal to, and then you take the x coordinate of the shape, and that is 200. So you put a 200, then you put two ampersand signs, and then you put mouse x is less than or equal to the x and the width. So since that's a negative number, we'll just put 40. And then mouse y is greater than or equal to the y. And then, not that, and then mouse y is less than or equal to the y plus the height. So that would be, that'd be 200. Six, I believe. And then we'll put two brackets and no semicolon. And then to test that our button works, we'll put print and then L and an N and then a parentheses. Let's just say so in quotation marks, high. And then press the restart and see if it works. Nope, that means this one of these coordinates must be wrong. So these two are correct, and then this one, so it's probably these to being added. Figure that out really quick. 
fix the problem. Khan Academy was having some glitches, so I had to change the dollar a little bit. So, take a minute to copy in this code. So, starting from there, and then I'll retell you the coordinates of the month of the dollar. Thing. So, if mouse x is greater than or equal to 24, and mouse x is less than or equal to 124, and mouse y is greater than or equal to 175, and mouse y is less than or equal to 223, then something happens. So, we will put down here, let's see what we do that, we're going to add another variable, which is what R stands for, so multiplier equals 1, so we'll say money equals money plus multiplier, like that, and then up here we will put text money and then we'll put a plus sign here and then money and then that will show what the money is. So we'll put it there right now. And that's going to be our background. And so let's put this right there but up there let's put text size 20 and then we put this back a little and there we go so now when we click our dollar it goes up so let me resize um, this right here, text, if it hasn't been given a size or color, then the last, um, thing will be put for that. So, like, if I were not to have given this rectangle a color, but I gave, um, this, um, text a color, then this, then this text would be the same color as this rectangle. It's kind of weird, but I think it does that. Okay. Nope, not that small. Let's do it like that. There. So now we have a dollar that is clickable. So that will be it for the video today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give a like and subscribe to the channel and look forward to the next video.